Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Debs. Now you may notice that the audio doesn't match what my mouth is doing and that's because when we were recording um, we had a bit of problem with the the audio track. So what we're making today is bread and butter pudding. I've got a loaf of bread which was um, bought reduced so it's got a yellow sticker on and so have my eggs and I've actually got a gluten free loaf today because my parents are going to be visiting and this means that my dad will be able to eat our bread and butter pudding. So I'm using bread, I've got a Pyrex dish here um, and I'll be greasing that in a minute. And then I've got some milk and some eggs, some sugar, some dried fruit, some margarine or butter and some bread. I feel a little bit like I'm on some sort of game show where I'm commentating on someone's video. But anyway, um, I've greased my Pyrex dish and next I'm going to start buttering or margarining my bread. Each slice will have some margarine on and then I'm going to place it into the Pyrex dish with the spread downwards and that will stop it sticking. You'll also notice that when I put my pieces of bread into the dish, I'm going to cut them into diagonals or into little pieces because that helps when you're dishing up the um, finished dish, it means cutting with your knife or your spoon through the dish is easier. So you can see I've just covered the bottom of the Pyrex dish with all the bread without any gaps. If you had any little gaps you can just cut the bread to fit into those spaces. Next up we take our sugar and our dried fruit. I'm just going to sprinkle on maybe half a spoonful, you don't need too much each layer and then follow that with a couple of spoonfuls of dried fruit. I'm using a mixture of raisins and sultanas but you can use whatever dried fruit you've got. And then basically what we do is we just continue this until you've filled up the whole dish. After the dried fruit and the sugar, I'm going to put another layer of um, bread spread with margarine and I'm going to put that with the spread downwards and then continue bread, sugar, fruit all the way to the top of the dish. I've got to my final layer of bread on top and I've put the margarine on and put it on top of the dish with the margarine down and then I'm going to put margarine on the top of the bread as well so both sides of the top layer of bread have been margarine. And next up I'll be adding the custard mix. Now what I use is half a pint of milk and two eggs. So if you're making a really small one of these with just a few slices of bread and a little, little tiny dish, you could use a quarter pint of milk and just one egg. Or what I'll be doing here, I'll be using um, twice the mix, so I'll be using a whole pint of milk and four eggs. I'll mix that in a measuring jug and to make sure that all the egg is mixed properly into the milk and then I'll pour it on. When you pour it on, you make sure that you pour it slowly so that the bread has a chance to absorb all the liquid. When you're mixing the egg and the milk, you can also add some other flavours if you want to. You could use some nutmeg or some cinnamon or perhaps a little bit of vanilla extract, which just makes it a little bit more interesting. And finally, when all the liquid has been poured on, you can sprinkle just a little bit of sugar on the top, which will go crispy and yummy when you cook it. And then I'll just let it sit for a, probably 15 or 20 minutes, just to make sure that the bread has really absorbed all the liquid. And then it will go into a preheated oven which is 180 degrees centigrade or 350 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 4 
and I'll cook it for 30 to 40 minutes. Now with this particular one, I checked it at 30 minutes and it wasn't quite cooked, so I just gave it another five minutes. So it probably had about 35 minutes in total. What you do is just take it out and stick a knife into the middle of the bread and butter pudding. And if it's still got quite a lot of liquid on the knife or it seems quite soft in the middle, it probably needs a little bit longer to cook. And that's it, bread and butter pudding. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time on Cooking with Debs.